Good evening. The defense says even though Owens was drunk, he did not cause the deadly crash. But today, an accident reconstruction expert said Owens was driving in the wrong lane seconds before the crash. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is live at the Santa Fe District Courthouse, where the vehicular homicide trial is in its fourth day. Crystal? And Jessica, the state's expert testified today that it's hard to know exactly where Owens' SUV was before the crash because he says it did not leave any marks. Now, despite that, the expert said that Owens was not completely in his lane. How far over? I'm not saying. I'm just saying this is the impact position based on my analysis. Crash reconstruction expert Brian David Charles testified today that Scott Owens was either in the wrong lane or straddling the center line two years ago near Santa Fe when his SUV and a car full of teens collided. Four of the teens were killed. The driver, Avery Kaufman, survived. The expert said the evidence that supports that is the damage to the vehicles, most importantly, the damage to Kaufman's car. The nature of the damage is not at all consistent with some sort of <coughs> side swipe or impact. But instead, the major blow to the car was on its passenger side. Charles testified that means Owens struck the teen's car from their lane as he tried to get back into his. He would be coming back from some place over in the Subaru lane. Then he brought up the fact that Owens' tires were also turned to the right, meaning he was steering in that direction. That's something even Owens said he probably did when he was questioned by detectives. In which direction do you think you moved the wheel towards? Your right or to your left? Thinking it right. The defense contends that crash analysis is wrong and questioned the accuracy of the prosecution's reconstruction compared to their expert. Doesn't your analysis have the Jeep? in a different place at the time of impact from Mr. Caldwell? Yes. I thought I had him right at impact and I didn't quite. It was a hundredth of a second off. And the state's expert also showed the jury a sketch showing that if Owens was driving in his lane that night, the two cars would have hit head on bumper to bumper. Now, that didn't happen. However, about an hour ago, the defense's crash expert testified that the teen's car spun out in front of Owens that night, and he was driving in his lane, and that's why he struck them on the side. Now, we hear more from the defense's expert coming up at 10. Back to you. Okay, Crystal. Now, the prosecution rested its case. Case late this afternoon. The defense is also arguing perhaps Kaufman's car was hit by her friends who was following her that night and that pushed Kaufman into Owens lanes. So far, crash experts, paint transfer experts, and witnesses have testified that didn't happen. Albuquerque police have made 